There are a few other basic concepts in linear algebra that it would be good if you have seen before. We'll review them a little bit here anyway. The first one is the idea of a linear combination of k vectors. And for now, let's just think of our vectors as points in r to the n all the time, or rather arrows going from the origin to a point in r to the n. A linear combination of k vectors in r to the n is simply the sum of the vectors with different coefficients c1 up through ck. So each of these coefficients are acting as scalar multiplication on the vectors, and then we add them all together. The span of a set of k vectors is all the possible things you can obtain by taking linear combinations. So it's the set of all possible vectors in R to the n that are written as linear combinations of x1 up through xk. A fundamental notion when talking about linear combinations of vectors is that of linear independence. A set of k vectors is linearly independent if the only linear combination of them that equals zero is the one when all of the coefficients are zero. In other words, if we try to solve this equation, the only solution is the one where the c's are all set to zero. Conversely, you could say that a set of vectors is linearly dependent if one of them can be written as a linear combination of the rest. So one of them is a linear combination of the remaining k minus 1. The third way to talk about linear independence is to say any vector in the span of my k vectors, x1 through xk, has a unique expression as a linear combination of the x's. We already know that any vector in the span can be written as some linear combination of the x's. But this is saying that it's unique, that for only one particular value of the c's does this expression exist. Notice that this is an all or none kind of property. Either for all vectors in the span, there's a unique way to write them as a linear combination, or for none of the vectors in the span is there a unique way to write them as a linear combination.